IST is really one of the few places that is totally open in terms of research questions. So um, we are really a basic research institution. You can follow your interests. And um, of course, it's a competitive place. So um, you have to be successful in what you're doing. Only then basic research makes sense. But um, I, th I think this is really you cannot find this at many places. Um, um, at many places you have a certain um, pressure to do some translational research um, in the sense that your things have to have a biomedical application or a technology application or you have to do some um, um, business development or um, some engineering. So at IST Austria this is all possible but nobody tells you to do that. So you have absolute freedom to do what you want. For our scientific infrastructure, we chose the path that most modern research institutions um, choose. So um, we decided to centralize all our main equipment into scientific service units. So instead of um, having professors like you have it at many universities, professors that own a certain piece of equipment and then kind of um, monopolize it so that if you want to use it as a young assistant professor, you have to go there and ask them to collaborate. We chose that um, we build a central infrastructure platform that is also serviced by the institute, where then the groups can go to and use the equipment and also get the um, appropriate user training for it. So if you want to use a new te technology as a, let's say, as a young PI, it's much easier at our place because you just go there and you have the experts and they can help you with designing and um, carrying out your experiment. So in general, um, we have a bottom-up process that um, we do not make investments in the sense that we build a big piece of equipment and then we try to um, um, use this equipment to recruit a certain professor, but uh, we just um, acquire equipment that is needed by the faculty. So um, for the scientific service units, for every um, um, service unit, we have user group meetings. It's a group of principal investigators that use a certain technology. And um, they're sitting together and um, make up their mind what they could need in the future. And, um, and then they make suggestions, and these suggestions are brought to the management, and then the decision is made to either invest in this direction or not. Um, but it's a strictly bottom-up process. All the information can be found on our web page, so you just have to um, um, zip through the different um, um, service units. You get detailed information, what kind of equipment we have available. And I can just summarize, so we have a um, bioimaging facility that you can see in the background here, that's um, light microscopy. Um, we have electron microscopy, we have a preclinical facility, we have a life science facility, general support for the life sciences. We have a nanofabrication facility and a workshop that includes an electronic workshop that builds um, specialized um, equipment. And then also we have a library. In general, I can only recommend to go to a place where you find the environment and the infrastructure that you need to, um, to really answer the questions that you have in mind. So um, in life sciences or in general in experimental sciences, it's mainly about infrastructure and it's mainly about the right scientific environment. So um, IST is very interdisciplinary or cross-disciplinary. We have a lot of um, um, different um, um, fields at one place without any borders, so we don't have anything like um, um, departments and, and there is no um, there are no barriers to talk to your colleagues, so we have a lot of contacts to um, the theory people and, and it's, it's a very open place and you can be really driven by your research questions. Not so much by a certain topic you're working in, but, but really by what you want to find out. When I came to IST Austria, I was just a, um, um, I had a junior research group at, at Max Planck in, in Germany and, and was looking for a more permanent position. And I found the option of having a tenure track system very attractive so that I can potentially stay at a place. And um, yeah, then I came across IST Austria and in the end made the decision to come here, which was actually back then a very risky decision because at this time IST didn't really exist. So um, it was just an empty building. We didn't have experimental sciences. But um, I really never regretted coming here because um, I got the full support and um, by, by the institute we could build all the infrastructure. So we had really ideal conditions to, um, um, to, to set up our research and continue as we did before and really also go into totally new directions.